Welcome back to Bright Tale 3. This is Jeradman, and today I'm gonna um, be continuing our exploration of the land under the dungeon under the Mad God's Temple, but um, instead of uh, exploring the catacombs, we're gonna be exploring a new space, uh, which. Let's not spoil any of it. I'm gonna try my best to try to, to play this as if I'm a... someone who's figuring it out, because um, I think telling people ahead of time explicitly how things are gonna work and what's gonna be there takes a lot of the fun out of watching someone play through a game. Um, my first priority is... Uh, making sure I have enough booze for my bard. I have a, one wine skin. I kind of want to have at least a second. I think I'm going to drop my arrows. Do I have arrows? No, I don't anymore. Well, whatever. I'm going to have that be enough. And I hope this is enough. I'm out of inventory slots. On the bard. I guess that's the solution, is my monk will carry the booze. Order monk foul spirits to go. I, we need more foul spirits to go in modern life, I think. You know, I should be able to stop at the mini mart and say I would like... Well, I guess the... I don't know. I guess there we do have that. I get to just get a bottle of stuff and take it away, take it away. But somehow it doesn't feel like I'm getting it from some convenient that it's I don't know. It doesn't feel like a drive-in. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you don't go to a bar and say fill up my flask and wander on out again. We need more of that. Okay, so I'm around 13,000 shy of the next level, and I'm pretty interested in this next level because uh, I'll get new spells and good ones, I think. Uh, the really exciting one is level 13, but level 11 is pretty good. Okay, so 110,000 is my target. I I'm gonna cast Greater Revelation and be hopeful that I'm not gonna hit darkness right away. Just turning off the lights behind my keyboard so I can see what I am typing. So as we found out several episodes ago, there is a word chaos. They say only the name, but we say chaos. Maybe that's in a sense his true name. They say, welcome true believers. Follow the true path of chaos and your destiny will come to you. Enter the realm of Brilhasti Aptarch. I don't know whether they mean destiny will come to me in a sort of threatening way. I don't know. Sounds, sounds threatening to me. I'm not taking the stairs immediately back up. So we're in a location called Unterbrey, as in underneath Bray. Scarabray, Unterbrey, this is the Unterbrey, the underneath. Um, I don't know if it's deeper or a different spot, kind of unclear. But I'm going to make a new region called Unterbrey. It does not include a ground floor. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cast Scry Sight. Oh, right, that doesn't tell me anything. It says, you're at the entrance, you idiot. Okay, let's try again. We're going to ask the auto map where we are, and it shows us in the lower right corner. So the first thing I want to do is change the map around so that the zero points are here. So when Scry Sight is telling me I'm one west, two west, three west, um, it aligns with what the map says. 
So grid, top left origin, that's not what I want. I may not be able to get the axis I want. Start at one. Yeah, I don't get to do right to left. So that means I'm gonna turn off the values because they're not gonna be the ones I want anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna put my hero, my, my marker, my avatar thing here. And I'm gonna start making some labels. What is the keystroke for labels? It's like hard to remember. Opt N. That doesn't I guess it's like note, it's the other note. So this is gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, five. Is that the right spot? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It seems wrong because it's actually like six zero to five is is you know, zero, one, two, three, whatever. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's going to be enough for now. Uh, for that axis, I don't know how big the dungeon is going to be. One, two, three, four, five. And this is actually how I did it on paper back in the day. One, two, three, four. Although back in the day, I was playing Bard's Tale 1 and I already knew because the manual told me the dungeons were 22 by 22. It's a kind of one of the niceties they added to the game or put in the explanation of the game. Okay, so I asked the creator of this program how to use this screen um, and it's apparently right click drag, which is sort of inconvenient for a trackpad. Okay, I take that back. It's really inconvenient for a trackpad, but this feels a little better once I get to know it than um, fishing around in a, a panel off the screen that I'm not going to show you. Also, it causes my selection of the cursors to be on the screen, which means that you don't stare at me doing nothing for a little while. So I'm going to try it for a little while. It's definitely designed for the mouse and not for a trackpad. Oh, and they're going to give me the crappy door again. So, where are the edges? The edges are on the upper right. And there's the good door. Okay. And then how many more? That looks like one, two. I see this is double wide and then one more. Meanwhile, there's walls here and here, a door here. And... This is what the auto map has shown me so far. Oh, it also shows me that this edge has walls. Okay, let's zoom in a bit because I have no idea how high resolution people will be watching this in. And um, Bard Song. And away we go. I don't know if this. I didn't. I kind of wish I noticed if uh, the bard songs are stronger now. But oh, we have a, and we have our we have a note. Although scarab brave felt far more alive than more. to do a soft return, as in, whatever, I'm going to make it fit on the screen. Something here just feels wrong. It is not of this world. Even breathing this air feels dirty. Bard's Tale 1, most of the texts you found were like game relevant, like telling you what to do um, or giving you hints. Here's a lot of um, kind of flavor being imparted in the messages. I feel fairly confident that that message wasn't trying to tell me what I need to do in this dungeon. 
the Hunter Nefast did some mean damage. I'm going to slow it down. That's kind of surprising because the fact that it was going fast makes me think that um, they saved my selected speed in my save game. I was not. I mean, I don't know. It's sort of reasonable that they might do that, but I'm not expecting it. So far, all is auto map suggested. <coughs> Master Demon. That is a much nastier spell than I was expecting. Is Master Demon the same? As in the last dungeon, there was a something demon, an adept demon. Okay, I'm going to assume that that should be enough healing to see me through the fight. objects my abysmal my monk my rogue's abysmal track record at identifying traps is prompting me to look at her skills she's got dexterity 21 you think that would be relevant her trap her identified chest chance is 29 percent maybe it's that good that's um her disarm Traps chance is 32%. That's kind of funny. It's flip flopped from the last game I played where chance to identify was way higher than chance to disarm. Okay, we have a flashing square, and it's a spinner in case you can't tell. Uh, I was trying to turn, I was trying to turn, and it was keep turning me back. over here. Yep. <laughs> the auto map track picks up only the wall directly in front of me, even though the other one is plainly visible. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. It's just, you know, how they wrote the code. Someone was not interested in trying to translate the exact way it was displayed on screen. Try this door. Sort of uneventful. Oh, some zombies. I think zombies need fire. In the form of a fire horn. They look more to me like some kind of Frankenstein's monster or Herman Munster than zombies.
At least from my idea of zombies. Okay, that was a little... That was a tight little, uh... Dead end. Here, here, back again. Okay, let's turn to the east. Oh, one forward leaves us a wall right in front of us. Okay, well... extends to this north wall north bus extends two more and way off in the distance one two three four away we can see three one two three you know one in front of us and one to either side wall not so much wrap around in this dungeon so far and we can see this door that we already could see uh, check this quite the south What I see on the right hand side there, I see a door, a wall, and then a door, and then a wall in front of me. It's hard to make out, but I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. Yep. Door number one. Door number two. Um, and I'm going to swing around this way. Slash gonna be tougher here too. Why is that faster? That's not the direction I wanted to go. Uh, big slath didn't seem much tougher. Maybe gave me more experience though. Click drag. Have to have to right click drag. That's super intuitive. Okay, I'm gonna guess a little bit. I think there's a wall here, two in front, one to the left. I think this is a slide uh, on the right hand side with a wall behind it, and then one, two, three on the back. That. Looking south from this spot is a lot easier to see that these two walls are here. that wall is doing. I think it's something like up there. I'm not going to draw it yet. Too uncertain. Check out the alcove. Oop, wrong way. A big slath. 
we used to ha we used to use slath as this like my some of my friends used to use slath as a joke ins insult especially like in the days of everyone hating microsoft if people remember that they would talk about micro slath um anyway it's probably not funny to anyone else <laughs> uh but the big slath always just kind of makes me think of someone way over emoting and being ridiculous Item, 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 no item. I'm just thinking that I'm in a slightly harder dungeon now, and I'm going to start getting upgrades. Pretty sure that it's a wall back there. Sometimes they put interesting things in a space like that. Uh, in this case, that turns out to be true. We have a message. The shade of the wind's home will make you free. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's a ghost of the where the wind lives, ghost of the south, ghost of the sky, sky ghost, will kill me? Like what? I, I found, I find this a little unclear. But maybe it'll make more sense later. Another big slath. I am at this point pretty convinced these big slats are more dangerous than the ones in the uh, catacombs. Uh, we just got turned insane. So, so far none of them are dead. One of our fighters has been turned against us. This is not the best. Uh, my bard is out of... That, that is not what I meant to do. I don't mean to have her drink. I meant to have her use the fire horn on the demon scions. You're going to try to cure that insanity. And... What should you do? Dragon Breath on the Demon Science. You got hit, the Dragon Breath hit one of them for 44. The Big Slath is down. The Firehorn didn't work on the Demon Science at all. I'm out of perverse interest, I'm going to try to use... Oh! I thought this vanished when you went down to zero. It just goes down... It just... It doesn't vanish. So, in the earlier games in the series, when something got used up, it did. It went away, as far as I remember. Certainly that's true in Bart's still one. Um, the fact that it doesn't go away makes me think that... Uh, you can, there's got to be a way to increase the number again. Otherwise, why should it exist? Mm. 
I'm going to try shock wave. Nope, they set it off. And Griselda took a lot of damage, in fact. Okay, drink some booze. That's the question. So I drank the booze. Is that going to tell you? Okay, so a wine skin you empty goes away, but a fire horn you empty doesn't go away. I'm thinking you can recharge fire horns with magic or something, but you can't recharge a flask of booze because it's maybe not magic. Go into this alcove. Nothing exciting. Um, I'm gonna go back east. Get closer to the entrance. Okay, so in front of me is one square with a wall on the left. Then there's an open square, and on the other side, there's walls in this L shape. Or whatever you want to call that. Okay, turn into the south. Right, I'm still. Right, there's still right a wall in front of me. Let's go forward one, and then turn to the south. Except I'm loading something. A fight. Okay, so Gore suckers, if I remember correctly, have a lot of hit points. I'm starting off by playing a healing song. And the Gore Sucker has a very strong breath weapon, it looks like. We may all die. I'm going to foolishly choose to not run. I'm attacking the hounds because they seem like they'll come in range. Uh, Chanterelle is going to healing song again. Elena will hide again. My casters are going to cast serious spells. Um, all on the death hounds because they're gr a group and that seems like it's going to do more work for me. Everything is going to do a breath attack. I am in significant trouble. Maybe I should have cast, like, anti-magic. Yeah, Griselda's dead. <laughs> Everyone's going to be dead. 
Okay, I should have taken these things much more seriously. Do I dare continue? I think I don't. I'm gonna run away. And... Uh... I'm gonna do healing song so I don't die, have everyone else die on the way out. Okay, so death hounds are dangerous and gore, gore suckers are more dangerous. I'll try to remember that. I really I'm still missing hit points. Grisnak was lost so many. No, I don't want to continue now. And turn south. One, two, well one. One had a trap. Uh, not here. fight with gore suckers which I'm running away from well for our first uh, first little dip in that was not entirely successful but not entirely terrible. One, two, three, four. So this is looks like it's 15 across because there's this big wall. It might be more, but I'm just getting that sense. Uh, so from 0 to 14. Makes me think it's probably going to be about that tall as well. Insert my character disc. I did. Okay, I just didn't have it check again. Okay, let's guess it's uh, 15 by 15, so set up grid. 15 by 15. Are the lines in the right spot? Of course not. Floor. Go to the right. Edit. Why can I not select one? Oh, they, I can. I just don't know how. I'm gonna be hopeful that it's just it's just like that. And I'm going to put a 14 here. Can I can I please move this? Is it is it really Oh, that's right. You don't drag it. You click where you want it to be. Oop. Can I can I can't undo. I can I have to paste it then I can undo. Okay. This, the, the grand plaza, that giant square in the middle of Scarabray, used to be 
all four walls were temples. The west wall, the nor north wall, and the south wall were all places you could get healing. Not anymore. Someone's god was stronger than the rest. I think their names were... The names of the temples were Great Gods was one of them. I think that was the northern one. It doesn't really matter. The one, another one was Greater Gods. And the other one was Greatest Gods. Something about that sort of amused me. Oh, this is Scrapboard Tavern. I thought it was the shrine. Shrine's over here. Okay. Please bring my character back from the dead for 9,000 gold. How much, uh, how much gold do I have total at this point? Pool gold. 89,000. Okay, I'm gonna just pay to have her be healed because I'm lazy. Because what else is gold for in this game? I don't remember. Maybe, maybe something important. What time of day is it? It's now midnight. Okay, I'm gonna go into the refugees camp and then I'm gonna leave again and then off now it's daytime and off camera I'm regaining my spell points okay uh, I regained my spell points and walked back to the temple I brought up my magic compass shield and light source it's time to tilt tilt at uh, Brilhasti Altarge's dark cave unpleasant space thing again this otherworldly Unterbray fight a single Nefast Master, which sounds a lot easier than some of the fights we just dealt with. Oh, I'm still using my Ram of Duo time for spell point reduction, which doesn't work down here in the dark. Okay, we have a Mithril Shield, which I think is an upgrade for a bunch of people. Of generic shield. Okay, who's next at minus eight? I think it'll stay minus eight. No, minus nine. Right, because she has a tower shield. Um, but I'd rather uh, Lady Oak shield get down to minus eight. So what do you have for a shield? A buckler. Okay. Drop that buckler. It's crap. So now my um, bard is the lowest woman on the totem pole. Probably should not have just advanced at the Phantom Champ. I just saw Phantom Champ, and I was thinking, I remember my Amiga playthrough where I had already gotten to the point where Phantom Champs were no concern at all. I don't think they're particularly dangerous compared to other things we've been fighting, though. Nineteen damage, that's not nice, but it's not a breath women doing thirty-five to every one of us. Yeah, pretty soon I need to stop um standing around in the sunlight to get my spell points back and just use the gems. Here, turn north. 
Um, I didn't put down this spinner. I just didn't take a note of it. Okay. Okay, this dead end has nothing of excitement in it. Uh, I'm gonna try going over here. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna just go north where I am. So far it doesn't been a level where it's pretty hard to get anywhere, which means exploring it in almost any order is fine. Although we have plenty of traps. A poison cloud that poisoned no one. That is my kind of poison. Uh, that is definitely a spinner. I don't know if you saw, when I stepped here, there were two doors. And then suddenly the one on the right disappeared because I got spun to face this way. They do this deliberately. They put things in areas where they know you will sort of be confused about what you're facing. Now I'm facing west, because you couldn't recognize it. Now that's the two doors, so I know I'm facing north. Although, I put them at the wrong distance, because I was over-eager. And more traps. That makes me think there's going to be a trap right here, too. Oh. Well, I was wrong. There's no trap. There's darkness instead. And there isn't a wall here. There was some kind of... Okay, what if I go south? No darkness. through walls, no like secret doors. Okay, the darkness continues. Okay. To the left, there is no darkness. Or at least it doesn't say darkness yet. It says Big Slath. That thing takes a lot of damage. I'm, if, I, if we find like 10 of them, I'm going to be sort of frightened. Oh, there is darkness over here. Oh, no, I just never moved forward. Maybe the fight happened first. Okay, no, there's definitely darkness over here. my compass I, it's already it's already running north there's a wall south there's a wall that's what I thought in front of us there's a wall left and right and then a wall on the left Oop, I don't know I just okay wall to the north wall to the south Now, this makes me want to fill this in, because it's like we went around it. More 
in darkness. Okay. darkness. Please remove. Okay. Uh, I think the darkness extends. Yeah. here. So this is all darkness, but then this is not darkness, I think. I'm going to hope that wing slashers are benign by comparison with some of the others. hit three times for eight points of damage. That is pathetic. Oh, uh, meanwhile, I've hit level 10, right? It's time to make my monk go disarmed. Go unarmed. Something like that. Oh, we killed one late wing slasher. And the other. darkness in either of these two spots. But let's head back here. I'm not even going to turn a light for it. Because it's going to go out again. Oh, uh, meanwhile, Monk... Halberd, dis unequip. I really want to get another fight because I want to see how much better or worse that does. Okay, so there's a door to the south. To the west, there's a wall. Oh, no. What's actually going on here is there's a spinner. That is tedious. It's very hard to map this kind of scenario. I'm facing in some direction, and there's a door to the right. Uh, that could be here, that can't be here because there's no wall on the left. I'm gonna just step forward. I stepped twice somehow after going through the... Okay, so I must have just pressed a bunch of keys without realizing it. So this room had three three doors. I guess I should have checked what was in there. Uh, there's a wall over here. These two are walls. And somehow I end up down here. south of this corner. No, I don't want to 
change that. Okay. There's a door there. I want to go through this after after finishing this. Okay, double flash means I'm almost certain that there's a spinner, although it can mean it's a teleporter. But the auto map tells us we haven't moved, or it tells me I haven't moved. So I'm just gonna keep turning in place till I get something that gets me out of the spinner, south or east. went one east. Oh, oh, there's another spinner? Is that, is that it? This is definitely a spinner. And I've definitely been there. South along the edge, west, north. So I just did this, and now I'm gonna go back into the middle, see if the middle is actually a spinner. No, I guess I was just confused. Oh, those are the gore suckers. There's only two of them. I'm going to choose to advance in the hopes that we get to them faster. Uh, heal song? Anti-magic. Oh, I don't know anti-magic. Well, shock sphere? You, you anti-magic. There we go. I am not watching to see how much damage my monk does. Although I think it's in the 30s. Which is not bad. Okay. Uh, zoom back in. is that acid rulers, although it sounds mean, are not that mean. Yet, dead. I mean, I don't know, maybe an acid ruler should not be threatening. Like, okay, they drool acid near themselves. Why do I care? Two fins flutes. I don't need two fins flutes. Does tin flute do anything if I use it? Nope. Just try in combat. Uh, I think there's a spinner here too, because I'm just trying to turn left and it's randomly flickering around. Here and 
this here. This is the route I took. Phantom Chape, Champ, and Zephyr of Mages. Uh, I think Zephyr Mages summon things. I shouldn't have them defend. I should have them shoot their terrible, terrible arrows. Those arrows are junk. Okay, hand to hand attack for Phantom Champ. Star Flare the Zephyr Mages. 54 damage from my monk. Okay, yes, the disarm the attacking unarmed is a big step up. The Zephyr Mages, meanwhile, are casting mean spells. And not dying when I shock them for a lot of damage. Okay, the Phantom Champ is down. Not that I was particularly worried about him. We have a Wind Warrior. Now, Wind in this series typically means illusionary. So, um... The only real difference between that normal monster is you can disbelieve it, and if you do, it dies instantly and get the experience points. You don't know Dragon Breath? Oh, I just must have typoed it. That hurts. We could die again. Again. Okay. Well, okay, two of them are dead. The Wind Warrior is dead. Three of them are dead. still kill off Griselda, but uh, running away is sort of feels like it's just as likely to get me killed, so. I'm going to try to kill the Zephyr Mage, and I succeed. And... I pressed 6 twice, and that cancelled it cleared whatever feedback I got. Oh well. That's some good experience. No items. sort of tempted to make a new bard and um, just take the wineskin because I think when you create a bard you get a wineskin with like 10 drinks in it and I don't know how to get another wineskin with 10 drinks in it even the same one I feel like I should be able to pay to have it be refilled
Six heal to turn. Nine heal to turn. Twelve heal to turn. Two Phantom Champs. That makes me feel kind of good because they're not very dangerous. Use arrows on A. Use arrows on A. Use. Do we have better arrows? No. Shitty arrows on A. Use. You have no arrows. Um. Firehorn? Nah. I will defend. Uh, hide to move forward. Why is why is my mage, my conjurer, carrying around the mithril arrows? Oh, and I have a lamp to uh, make light when I run out of spell points. Mist with an arrow. Mist with an arrow. Mist with an arrow. I'm attack I'm gonna have everyone attack A. Down six. Down a lot. Sixty five. Whatever. Dead. options are to go back through multiple spinners and darkness or and this goes back to this too or go this way um I can go here yeah so basically either here or here and here or here or here it's got darkness and a spinner. It's got darkness and a spinner. It's don't. I'm gonna go over here. I feel like I should get bad karma for attacking things that offer to join my party. But I'm pretty sure I won't. You can poison people by looking at them. That sounds brutal. Item, item, item. No item.
Uh, four gore suckers is a no. And I use the cheap the the lamp for my cheap light. And I am where I think I am. Boop. I move the focus to move this. <laughs> Oh, this is a silent zone. Triangle for silence. It's a silence cone. And this is also... This is also silence. And there's also silence on this side of the door. And there's a wall here that I didn't notice. Okay, I'm going to go west. That's what I meant to draw. Okay, and there's not a silence where I am now. There is a door to the media itself. What is this? What is that? more than I intended to before. Probably should stop now. But I'm so I, I I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm nowhere near close to halfway, but somehow having the shape of the dungeon be a box and that box feeling more than half full. you want to go on. Okay, one zombie and three rebel gliders. I don't think the zombies were that hard when, I pl when we fought them before, so I'm going to attack the rebel gliders. One of which died already. Two are dead. This seems very manageable. Apparently, rubble gliders are snake-like. Poison needle. Let's try poison needle. Nope. I think at this point I've actually stepped to the west and determined there's still darkness here. There 
there's not there's not darkness here. So I had so in, in the catacombs too, there were spell point drain spots that sort of ran me out of spell points for the expedition. Here we don't seem to have those, but we do have plenty of traps and spinners and darkness, mostly darkness to keep making keep casting my light spells again. Okay, so we got another note. Note a splash of a noble's blood colors the exit. So this is so we all know nobles are blue bloods, and then this is colors. And this makes me think that it's something about look for a you know, a splash of blue to find the way out. How is this not darknessing me? Am I wrong? Is the darkness only on the west side of that space? Or is it going to just darkness me after the fight ends? Okay, so finally one of our enemies successfully summoned a friend. Uh, so far, that's not really a big deal. Uh, we killed one before the second one joined, or right after the second one joined. But you can see how, if it got away from you, it would be a big deal. Like, nine of them are here, and half of them succeed in their summons, so now there's 15 or 14 or whatever. Okay, so this deed was darkness again because we got the message again. And I think this is not, which is um, we're basically here. around the door. Over here, there's the walls on the edge of the map. And I accidentally stepped this way. Turn to the right. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm seeing. judge where this is placed. Uh, there's definitely a thing here. And there's definitely a thing there. 
there. And then... This is the door. Basically out of spell points. But oh no, I am out of spell points. There was a spell point right in there somewhere. That is annoying because to find it I'm gonna have to get drained again. Let's start with that. Not mush. Mish is in Mystic Shield. Okay. Watch that. Oh, here's the spell point drain right here. And what about south? Not south. Back into the darkness, and then back into the silence. And my throat is dry again. Oh, that reminds me. Why do you have these arrows? You will. My mage will never use them. It's not even allowed to use them, so I'm going to trade them off. Close this rim off. We should explore it at some point. I went up here and turned left and verified everything was as expected. Two slats and Zephyr Mage. This seems winnable, but not easy. Hopefully the... um. Monk doing more damage now did with with punching will tip the scales. That is a lot of damage. Cast Do I flesh a new? No. Well, do I, I just defended. I didn't mean to do that. At, no, attack A, attack A, attack A. More healing. 
tech A. Cast. Do we have Spectre Touch? No. Uh, War Strike on A. Spectre Touch. Uh, maybe Anti Magic is more important. Poison, no big deal. Uh, pretty nasty spell, that is a big deal. Who's got the lowest hit points? Or Zelda? Hot Blossom has the lowest relative hit points. Lady Oak Shield is the one damaged. I'm going to heal Hot Blossom. I'm going to Spectre Touch the Zephyr Mage. Okay, the last Slath is dead. I'm not confident to advance. I think he might cast another mean spell every round. Twenty four damage, twenty six damage. Okay, I may at this point have enough healing stacked up to overcome those spells. Like, even when he does a mean spell, I think I'm healing more per turn than the amount of damage he can do. Certainly on average, my healing is higher than his damage, so I'm going to advance. Well, we can't kill the Wind Warrior, but I'm pretty sure if I just attack B a bunch, the um, Zephyr Mage is going to be gone. Yep. Oh, I guess I get it now. The, it's a Zephyr Mage, right? So he makes Wind opponents. I feel like we should get more experience points than 1558. Oh, I need to cure that poisoning. I don't know. 
which way to go. I'm gonna go forward. And why is there that flashing? That makes me think that I just stepped on a spinner and I have no idea what I'm doing. But clearly it shows me over here. Okay. Okay, it is a spinner. I may have gotten just lucky and it spun me not in any direction that I wasn't already facing. So this 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 uh so this style with the bricks is not a door. At this point I'm pretty sure these horizontal lines mean this is a door. So I'm pretty sure I'm facing south. Uh I guess I'm just wanted to step forward. <laughs> now I'm even more sure it was south because this darkness zone seems to be adjacent to itself. Yep. And there's darkness over here too. And not here. Oh, I'm going to turn out to have walked into a dead end. I'm going to have to just get hit by darkness again. Yup. Okay, and this is definitely also a spinner here. south in the darkness that is in that is west can I just move the focus to the map program please that's east that's south that is unrecognized, so it's probably north. Wall here and here, wall here, door here. Yep, it was north. Definitely more spell point drain. Is there more spell point drain above it? No. I'm, I want to guess that there might be spell point drain on left and right of it as well, but I'm not that excited in losing the very remainder of my spell points right now. So I think I want to head out this way. Although I only got 
this far. Okay, I'm coming up on that box again. Yep, spell point drain. Right here. about there um, I, I'm gonna run away I have no spell points oh didn't let me run away let's use a fire horn oh wait let's use the fins flute and see if it does anything nope cannot okay fire horn on the gore suckers hide and useless mages will defend. Okay, so the gore suckers advanced instead of blasting me, but they're still 20 feet away. I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and just try to fight them, assuming they're gonna step forward again. And they did, which is very fortunate. It didn't die though. Die, die, die. Oh, they didn't breathe. This is going well. How many do we, how many do we have for experience? The Kale's Axe. That is, I think, not a fantastic weapon, but I, it might be better than a halberd. Okay, so I'm almost out of spell points entirely, but I guess I have enough to do one more light spell. So this is my path so far. Something like that. Not exactly. What am I confused about? Where am I? Oh, I am farther along than I thought I was. I, I didn't realize I had made this turn. Blood alkydes are are bad. This is this is this is bad. Okay, that's good. He pushed us away because then we're out of range of his spells because he can wither us, I think, which is a unfixable damage that cost many thousands to deal with. Okay, what's our what's our experience points total? Over al almost enough for everyone to level up, but not quite. So, I'm going to level up the ones who can. I think uh, my warrior paladin bard will go up, if that's right. Warrior luck, which is good for resisting all those spells I was getting blasted with. Uh, luck for the paladin, and a cold shoulder for our monk, constitution for the for our bard. 
Uh, Rogue gets intelligence. Oh, I, that was shit. That was some crap. Okay. Um, it's awkward that I'm just shy of new spells, but uh, I'm going to call it here for now. Thanks for watching, you crazy people that may or may not exist. <laughs>